Doctor Who really should be cancelled by now. I'm pretty sure that anyone who's not a paid shill or a brainwashed thrall can understand that. The show simply stinks these days. The writing is at best cringe and at worst unbearably incompetent. Shooty Did You Know His Gay Toi is a plank of wood as an actor, except for the scenes where he's crying in every single episode and the gender and sexuality messaging is offensively insane. The ratings too are abysmal, I don't need to recycle old videos to go into the fact that Doctor Who never charted above 6th place on Disney Plus once a week, and Disney Plus only charted twice overall for all platforms with Bluey while Doctor Who was on the air. Meanwhile, shows that were getting view counts like 80,000 were charting, so you could say Doctor Who has no business being renewed. But will they listen? No, of course not, as some stuffed suits at Disney Plus can attest. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name's Will. See what I did there. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We are going to check out an interview and a couple of quotes from some of the executives at Disney Plus, don't you know, who have decided that despite terrible ratings and unbearable responses from the audience, they're going to go ahead and say that they love the show and they love to make more of it and keep financing it with their what by now has to be severely drying up well of money. So if you're liking the video, be kind, hit like, helps others to find it, don't you know? And that helps me to help you and subscribe to the channel if you'd like more news, reviews, commentary and a rebellion. Courtesy of me and the Griff Force. All right, let's do this. Doctor Who, Disney Plus bosses praise series. Yes, that is the headline. This one comes from TV Zone UK, speaking at the annual Edinburgh TV Festival this week. Since when was that a thing? I don't know. Disney Plus bosses have spoken about Doctor Who following the conclusion of its first full season produced in partnership with the BBC. In 2022, it was announced that the BBC had partnered with Disney branded television to transform Doctor Who into a global franchise for UK audiences and the rest of the world under the vision of returning showrunner Rusty Tin Dildo. Sorry, Russell T. Davis. The Disney Plus Spotlight session at the festival was attended by Disney Plus Senior Manager of Unscripted Content. So what the bloody hell have you got business talking about this then? Gaby... Gabby? Gooby? Gabby Aung? <laughs> this sounds like a noise you make when you're getting a prostate exam. Director of Scripted Content Lee Mason and Senior Vice President Liam Keelan don't care who any of these people are. Responding to a question from TV Zone, Senior Vice President, uh, President Liam Keelan said, Doctor Who is a fabulous series. Obviously, in the UK, it's fully BBC, rightly so. We take rest of world rights, but really, really happy to have it. I just think, you know, the quirkiness of it, the fact that it's in that sci-fi world, and when you think about what Disney offers in other regards, I think it feels like a really good fit to me. I mean, you know, it's great to have it. How do you justify this? The series is a joke. It's been a complete and total disaster for the last two years. More, actually. I mean, it was worse, perhaps, in some ways, under Jody. But, I mean, it's become even more egregiously political under Russell. So, you know, it's really up to you which one you hate more they're both terrible in different ways i guess this is just disney being disney just doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on the message um i just don't understand how how anyone here can say this show is fabulous you look at the ratings and i know you guys at disney know that no one was watching this because the only way that the numbers I've got don't add up to sub 80,000 per week for Doctor Who is if Disney hid a massive smash hit, which they never would, never have and never will. Because why would you do that? 
Why would you go, hey, uh, this show got like 10 million views. Wow, well, we better not tell anybody. It's retarded. So, uh, I don't know. The fact that it's in the sci-fi world, he says, yeah, but, I mean, what the, what does that, none of this makes any, none of this means anything. The guy just said, bleh, bleh, platitudes. That's all it is. A bunch of bollocks. Obviously, in the UK, it's fully BBC. Yeah. Why do you need to even bring that up? Everybody knows that. We take rest of world rights. From what I could tell, the only place that Doctor Who was in any way popular at all was Africa. So, there you go. Maybe South Africa. I don't know, but I don't think they'd be overly keen. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really fit in with Disney. I, I guess they're trying to make it fit in with Disney, but it's just cringe. Just awful, awful cringe. And trust me, when the Brits are gone, there will be nobody left to justify continuing to make this. This is just one of those things, isn't it? Like we saw with The Acolyte. They're like, oh, we're so very proud of The Acolyte. Oh, it's a great show. Leslie Headland's a genius. By the way, eh, eh, cancelled after one season. Coping and seething. Last month, it was announced that the BBC and Disney Plus had commissioned new Doctor Who spin-off, The War Between the Land and the Sea. What are you doing, Disney? I swear to God, you're just trying to burn your business to the ground. Leading the five-part series is Russell Tovey and Gugu Matha Raw. There was a time, you know, when I said a combination of words like that, and it meant, I'm a baby. Please feed me. <laughs> the series will also see the return of unit alumni Gemma Redgrave and Alexander Devrien. Okay, well... I mean, I'm super excited, aren't you guys? <laughs> the war between the land and the sea. Come on. You know what that's called? It's called The Coast. A short synopsis for a new series due to air in 2025 reads, When a fearsome and ancient species emerges from the ocean, dramatically revealing themselves to humanity, an international crisis the entire I just don't care, man. I just don't care. Do you care? I don't. Doctor Who returns this Christmas with that unbearable cringe with Nicola Coughlin. And, uh, and a Silurian who just basically looks like a dude in a suit wearing a green mask. Yeah. Nothing about them seems alien. Well, they're not aliens anyway, are they? They're like precursors. But nothing about it seems... I mean, just why? Just why even use the Silurians if they're not going to be a threat? Joining the Christmas special alongside... <coughs> and, uh, and revealed in the latest issue of Doctor Who magazine are Peter Benedict and Julia Watson as Basil and Hilda. Niam... Marie Smith will play Sylvia. Phil Baxter is Edmund Hillary. And Samuel Sherpa Moore is Tenzing Norgay. Steph DeWally is Anita and Jonathan Aris <laughs> uh, played Melnak the Silurian. Melnak. Doctor Who will return in uh, 2025 with Season 2, which will see the Doctor and Ruby Sunday reunite. Yeah, but not full-time. Alongside new companion played by Veranda Seto. Seto made a surprise appearance in Season 1 as part of the cast of Boom. Yeah. Just don't care. Just don't care. Why would you put more money into this, Disney? Why would you put more money into this? It doesn't make any sense. It's like, you might as well make a sequel to The Little Mermaid, the live-action one with that awful rap song in it. And you might as well make it all about that seagull character too, the one who did the awful rap song. Why not? People hated that. Let's, that's a good indicator that we should just put more money into it. Imbecilic. If anybody out there can reason why they would do this, please let me know. Or just otherwise let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see more of me. I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans. Don't spend money on tat.
Check out the Discord link below and I'll chat to you next time. Enough is enough, we draw the line. We'll take my